A reader lives a thousand lives before he dies. The man who never reads lives only once. A truly genuine statement by George R. R. Martin, the author of a very famous book, The Game of Thrones. Hello everyone. Today I, Sangeeta Adarthi from Akshar International School, am here to talk about the best thing in the world for me, that is books. Now I presume many of you would be like, why would you bother reading when you get the same things on TV? I mean, isn't it just a whole lot less of focus and concentration and page turning and whatever, right? But will you believe it if I say that your typical bookworm can add two years to her life just by reading? It is scientifically proven that those who read are more likely to live longer compared to those who don't. Books also have a huge impact. Mostly good, sometimes scary, but definitely powerful. For example, back when I read the second installment of the Harry Potter series, which by the way, I'm a huge fan of, I was terrified to look around myself for weeks because of a basilisk mentioned in the books, which could kill you. Anyways, some other common benefit of books is that they are very skilled in the art of stress busting. Of course, this skill is not unique to books only, but it's definitely more powerful here. If it were to be something like surfing on the internet or checking the number of likes you have on Insta, the aura of calmness and relaxation tends to be on a lower scale. Think of it this way. I had a friend named Neha. She was a year younger than myself and she was one of the most easily persuaded people I knew. One day when Instagram was in fashion, her other friend came over and told us about it as if it was a goddess. And I admit, at that time, I was jealous. Anyways, the next day, I asked Neha if she somehow managed to persuade her parents to get herself an account on Insta. And she replied that she was offended. And I was shocked. No, like actually, literally shocked. Like everyone's favorite and the teacher's pet was on Insta? I probably looked disbelieving. Because she laughed and told me that she used to be on Insta when her parents said they didn't like it. And that she usually, and she sort of changed from a usual cheerful self to this angry, stubborn person no one really liked. Yeah, that was my experience with Insta. And forgive me if I don't have any love for Insta, or for that matter, social media. Uh, so I'll conclude this speech by saying that people might think of Insta as a goddess, or maybe as useful as magic, but all it is is a useless waste of time. And I mean it. If social media can make you happy, books can too. If social media makes you relax, Books can too. Talking about magic in books, I remember a quote from my favorite author, J.K. Rowling. It is, if you don't like to read, you don't haven't found the right book. And I totally agree. So what are you waiting for? Grab a book and start reading today to experience an entirely new world, your world. Thank you.